Hey, Laura Robson here. I was on my way to the tennis this morning when I had a hint of Britney Spears coming from across the river, so I couldn't not check it out. So let's see what all the buzz is about. And we're here with Karen, who's the CEO of Midsummer Festival. Tell us a little bit about the festival. Sure. Um, well, Midsummer as an organisation is the premier LGBTIQ arts organisation all year round within this region of the world and uh, celebrate with big outdoor events like we have today. You know, anything that uh, gives the opportunity for a whole range of voices to be heard and stories to be told. So what should we go and see around the festival today? Well look, there's a lot of, it's actually quite a big footprint. We've got a number of two main stages. We've got a family's precinct. We had a dog show. Um, I'm so <laughs> sad I missed that. You don't even understand. They told me that when I first got in and I'm gutted. That is one of the most popular events of the day. Um, there's 200 stalls um, from a whole range of community organisations and you know, everybody's just out about uh, showing how they want to show pride in their lives. So what makes Melbourne so welcoming for the LGBT community? Uh, look, I think we, we have a range of events um, that have come out from a whole lot of policies and values. This is a city that um, really wants to be welcoming and wants to be something that everyone can feel uh, welcome. Um, our events are not just for LGBTIQ people. We want to do events that everybody can come together and share our stories. Um, how you know, little is to seniors, all cultures, people with disabilities, and I think that's something that Melbourne really values as a whole. And we do events and festivals really well here. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is D. My name is D. Flowers. Nice to meet you, everybody. Tell me about the hair. It's, is it weighty? Does it hurt your neck? Oh, no. Um, I actually have like a little chin strap on, so I'm kind of like one of those um, English guard. I forgot the name. The English guard. I kind of feel I'm kind of paying homage to them. It's quite light, actually. It's a bit, it's plastic, but at least it's off the neck, so it isn't too bad, actually. <laughs> I have that problem all the time, sweaty yeah, oh, back of the neck. Human hair, I have human hair wigs. I don't know how you do it, girl. I can take mine off, but yours is like stuck on, and, and I couldn't do that at all. So things are just starting to heat up at the Midsummer Festival. I might not make it to the night session. I'm off to enjoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I weigh my love on high. 